Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, I'm back again. Greetings to you or whatever you may be listening. Yes, today is a very crazy day, I'm telling you, because now Nigerians have been given 14 days. I'll tell you what will happen in 14 days. Do not just take it for a joke. Don't say I didn't tell you. Also, muta for those who are walking. Those who are walking, why will they be giving muta? Very soon, you will find out also. Also, money for people who are sick. Huh? You're not feeling fine you're sick there's money for you and also what else you know do you know that now things are getting more serious for asylum seekers i will tell you that now any karada 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 you are gonna find yourself back home i will tell you that thing you have to avoid also so that you don't see yourself going back home anytime soon all right what about getting medicines for free huh don't you like getting them for free when you go to pharmacy <laughs> don't you like uh, not paying for certain things in the hospital i will tell you what exactly to do and other things okay you have children in italy <laughs> there's good news as well all right many 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 more things okay about your documents too one thing you need to know before going to renew so that you will not go go all right if you're here for the first time why don't you subscribe because here you get information so like that will keep it true and before data transform information is powerful if you know you know and if you don't know you don't still know but with you surely you will know all right my one banana please drop it put the like put the like i like all those who are putting like your life will be liked by the others i'm telling you so put the like that's the best you can do all right for my older new subscribers thank you and you who's watching me till now what i waited for subscribe man. thank you for doing that okay Spread the gospel of Chi on WhatsApp, Facebook, so that others will know that I'm here doing what I know how to do best. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where do we start from? Yes, yes, yes. 14 days. We start from there. All right. Let's start from um the deportation thing yes yes always in the news like the uk you know they say that countries who have refused to you know sign the deportation of their own citizen will be sanctioned yeah they are going to sanction all those countries meaning that when they bring the list of people who will be deported and those countries the ambassadors were like kind of refusing to sign it uh-huh or their foreign affairs minister refused to sign it then they have no choice than to sanction that country maybe restriction of visa system things you know maybe like let's say before they used to give 1000 people visa they will just reduce it to just 20 or nothing at all so that they will force those countries to keep signing deportation of people eh, of their citizens so that's it in uk so don't even go there because now they are sending people back to rwanda well the critics are there criticizing the government saying this is bad the government say okay you the critics give us alternative what is your own option bring it on the table but the critics all those human rights people they have nothing no option to bring on the table let me tell you those people who are operating camps there are the ones who are fighting the system so that people will not be sent to rwanda because this is where they cash out from you know you know how they do things now your cap operators they are always squeezing out money from us so that is why those people who are there too are angry that man this guy is spoiling the business for us very soon we are going to all leave this job because they are going to go find job for themselves because no business anymore for them so that's that all right so what else um let's go to the other news the actors guild of nigeria have now said that hey they have gotten enough report that many people have been molested sexually abused uh, kind of raped you know in the industry so they are now calling out that hey if you know that uh, the, you get a sex for role you know just sex for role thing hey call let me lamo shuang you real hot and i'll give you the major role to play in the movie i mean sex man also guys too i've been sex hard man i'm telling you by gay guys who are in the producing section you know those top guys in that level they'll say hey if you come and give me that that thing then i'll also give you a bigger role to play so now many people are voicing out especially the last tweet on twitter last week that was trending hard about some people calling out names saying how they were kind of uh, raped molested you know they should even touch their boobs touch their bum bum even while they are in the production room you know while they are casting real so these girls don't like what they do to them so well the actors guild now like man we have to fight this thing and you know kind of like expel all those producers sanction them ban them from producing because they're spoiling the industry imagine girls have to surrender their body just because they want to get a rule you can't just get it just free like that anymore in the movie industry you have to pay for something especially with your body if you're a guy you have to pay with your bum bum man if you're a girl hey you can pay with any of the two areas <laughs> so well i pray they solve all this nonsense because we don't like it we don't like it at all yeah let it be clean man okay that is that 
All right. So now, um, you are thinking about what, 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 what area of the Wago? Yes, if you are going to renew your document through the calf, be careful. Because sometimes, if you go to all those rubbish calf, they are going to do a rubbish demander for you. Uh -huh. They are going to put certain things that you never even ask them to put. And that's why some people, when they go to renew, sometimes they used to go too. So please, pay attention. Go to the right calves, okay? The right ones, the good ones, especially the Italian ones. Don't go to all those... Uh, private calves sometimes they are like foreigners too who don't really know the real thing to apply for you always go to the government calf even if you have to pay them 10 euro 20 to do it so that you get a clean demanda eh? so that when you go to renew your document there will be no errors but i mean those who go to the calf after the calf prepares it they tell you go to the poster pay the money the poster now gives you appointment date for thumbprint and then sends your demanda to questura that's very nice i always use that system it's very you know easy for me okay all right so that is that so well um are you like uh, kind of sick huh you kind of sick what are you waiting for huh if you are terribly sick you have any terminal ailment you know your child or something or you have a disability in one part of your body maybe your ear you're not hearing well um your eye um your hand your leg your stomach serious pain for years you know you don't even understand it doesn't even allow you to walk what any even your heart you know Whatever you have been diagnosed of, that is is a very strong illness. Illness, you know, you can now go to your doctor and tell your doctor you want to apply for invalidita because it's very nice. If you're in Italy, you must have a house doctor and eh, go to Aslan and tell them I need a doctor. You have to have a personal doctor so that when you want to apply for this invalidita, whereby the government have to pay you certain amount of money according to the percentage of your ailment, you know, it's very nice that you do it. So that's it, huh? Eh? So your doctor prepares the demanda, you go to the calf and give it to them. The calf applies it to IMSS. Then within three months, IMSS is going to reply you either by mail or by your phone number. Also, they will send you the letter, certificate of invalidita, because you are going to attach your IBAN. From there, you get paid. So tell someone who you know that has been suffering from a certain ailment for long that has been eating the person up, whether leg, hand, ear, eye, you know, heart, intestine, kidney, lungs, you know, anything. So they can apply for Invalidita and get money from there too. Even your children, your brother, friends, tell them, okay, so that they'll stop suffering because they can't even walk. They can't walk like normal people, so they need it, okay? All right. So also, now, pregnant people, if you are pregnant and you have a child, you just give birth newly also, you can apply for what they call exemptione, E02. Huh? So there are different kinds of exemptione that you can also apply. When you apply this exemptione, it means that you will not uh, pay for medicines at all. Because if you are pregnant, they'll tell you, buy this, buy this medicine, buy that, buy this. Also, when you give birth, they'll tell you your child needs this, your child buy that, but you're spending money, not knowing that you can get exemptione. Eh? Go to Asla, you can get that exemption, especially when you have your house doctor. You meet your doctor and tell your doctor, hey, I want to apply for exemption. The doctor will prepare whatever for you, and then you go to Asla with it, and then they will give it to you. They will give you the exemption so that um, they can even program it into your Tessera Sanitaria. That's your health card. They will program it there that whenever you go to do any blood test, you will not pay. Because once they slot in your card, they will see it. Also, they can give you a card kind of paper. So you can also show them while it is in your codice. It's also physically in your hand like a card form. So you can show it to them and they will just do the blood test or even sell the medicine for you. Even with discount or even free for you. It's always important, okay? All right, remember, if you are kind of having disability, you can also apply for the disability card, whether for your child, uh, like I said before, suffering from any of those ailments, especially when they have given you the certificate of invalidita, you can apply for disability card, you can apply it online, you can go through CAF and do it. That's why I said go and do your speed, do your speed, whether in your bank or in poster, go there and do the speed, it's not even difficult, within five minutes you have set up your speed. With it also, you can apply for different demanders online by yourself, especially if you have left Italy to other countries. When you hear demanda, you can just log in into the IMSS website and apply for it. <laughs> Your IBAN is there, put everything, and the money will be paid to, for, to you while you are away, so long as you have residence here in Italy or Hospitalita, okay? So that's very important too for you to note. All right, what about um, the this thing, what do they call it? Um, uh, money for, what, what am I saying? What am I saying? Eh? So for those who have children here in Italy, remember that uh, on the 19th, Straight to on the 21st, yeah, you guys will be getting your Asenio Unico Philip, eh, the one of permanent payment 
to for 21 years up to 21 years so that money they said projected to be paid on the 19th and also 21st down to the ending of this month so well many people have been collecting their own uh -huh, why some people are saying they have not seen it but the real thing is that people must see it this time around okay yes imps have been doing those things we don't even know why they what they are doing they are paying their people more than the foreigners all right so that is that too mm. so now then what about those who are walking if you are walking and you know that you have not done your sete trenta <laughs> one day i'm telling you keep skipping that sete trenta don't go and do it one day they'll just bring a fine for you muta asking you to go and pay 2k 3k 4k 5k because you have not been doing it for years so you have to now go and pay all those muta okay so please always do the right thing okay always do your city trenta every year around june okay so that's that what will happen to nigerians in 14 days time yeah get the gist real hot from g yeah okay in 14 days time if the governor of samfara state does not pay a whooping sum of 30 million naira then he will have his citizens people in zamfara to be killed about 300 of them will be wiped out says one terrorist there you know these fulani uh people these fulani has been terrorists you know bandits they call them so also this man said he's issuing this threat he, he said it's not even a threat that he's going to carry it out he's going to carry it out in 14 days time that's if the governor does not pay him that money that he's not being greedy he's only asking for that he would have asked for 50 million naira each what happened why is he asking for this money he said his wife-to-be was killed, his uncle and one other of his uh, relation like that. Three people close to him were eliminated, you know. So he said the vigilantes purposely did that, knowing that these people are related to him and they went on to kill them, okay. So because they're what? Fulani, Fulani, Fula. <laughs> so well, they are issuing distress, saying that. In 14 days time, if no money is paid, they have to go to the farmers, you know, the farmland areas where people are farming, that they will go there and ambush people and still kill them, that they will keep killing until they get up to 300 people gone. Well, what do you think? Do you think the governor should go ahead and pay this guy so that 300 people's life will not be lost just like that? And why would the vigilante kill innocent people just because they are related to terrorists? Is that fair enough? No. What this guy is saying, if people will not allow the Fulanis to have peace then they also will not allow the people eh? Nigerians also have peace okay so they are saying stop killing us and we stop killing you guys well that was it tell me what you think in the comment section okay that's what will happen in 14 days time let's see whether this threat will be realized or the governor will end up to pay and let his people leave i'm out of here man i'm chi ciao remember subscribe for real time notification share to your friends on whatsapp facebook bye bye